Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, and yeah, I'm still a bit croaky from Worlds and all of that because we had a lot of fun at Worlds, but we've got some new products to talk about. These are exciting, and you should be excited. But let's start off with the one which I believe is by far the most exciting, and that is the Arceus V-Star Premium Collection. What we've got here is a way to get Arceus V-Star. Did you all watch the World Championships? I did. I, I believe I had probably the best seat in the house for the finals of the Pokemon World Championships, sitting at the caster desk with my lovely friend Joe Bernard, where we watched and casted it. And do you remember which Pokemon was central to both the decks? In the final of the World Championships. Well actually it was partly flying Pikachu V Max. Which was extremely weird. I did not see that coming. But more so than that. It was Arceus. Arceus V Star is the best card in the game right now. I believe that sincerely. You can make an argument for Palkia. And Palkia is a very very good card. You'll hear no arguments from me. But Palkia is a deck. It is a phenomenal deck. It is a very good deck. But it is a deck. Whereas Arceus is many decks. We are expecting at the World Championships one of the best decks to be Arceus Inteleon. That deck didn't really show up that much. Arceus Duraludon. That actually showed up quite well. Not as well as it could have, but it was there and it was doing very well. And then of course Arceus with Flying Pikachu of all things ended up being both the decks in the final and three of the four decks in the top four. What I'm saying to you guys is that Arceus is one of the very, very, very best cards in the game at the moment. And what we've basically got here is a product that gives you an Arceus V and an Arceus V Star, which firstly will give you an easier way to get hold of them, yay, etc. But secondly, we'll just bring the price down. We've seen this time and time again. When cards are easily available as promos, it brings the price of those cards way down. And that is absolutely lovely. And that's what you get here. You get one Arceus. You get an Arceus V-Star. And for what it's worth, you get a Jumbo Arceus V-Star. And given how impactful Arceus V-Star has been in the meta, I don't know about you, but I want a Jumbo Arceus V-Star in my Jumbo Binder. Now... One of the things that's important to note here, this is your regular Arceus and your regular Arceus V. Your regular V, sorry, and your regular V. We can't see the set number for the V, although we can see the odds identical. But for the Arceus V star, not only can we see that the odds identical, but we can actually make out the set number there, which is Brilliant Stars 1, 2, 3 out of 172. What that means is that these are exact reprints. They are not alternate art or anything along those lines. These are exact reprints. Compare that to, for instance, the Origin Form Palkia and Origin Form Dialga V-Star Premium Collections that I showed you just the other day. And in both of those instances, we had the full art, which was taken out of the set. And we had an alternate art of the V-Star. And in fact, we could keep playing this game because I also showed you the Hisuian Zoroark V-Star Premium Collection. And it was exactly the same thing. You've got the full art of the Pokemon V that has been removed from the set to be used as a promo. And the alternate art of the V-Star. These alternate arts, we are assuming, are going to be in V-Star Universe. The special set, which is coming out in Japan in December. But this isn't an alternate art. This is just a straight reprint. Uh, feel free to be happy about that. Feel free to be sad about that. It doesn't really matter, honestly. But yeah, this is just a straight reprint. But really, it's just a way to get hold of what you need, which is awesome. Now, the official description reads like this. With the cosmos at its beck and call, Arceus V-Star brings forth a bounty of cards and energy with its powerful attacks. Add this mythical Pokemon V-Star to your deck, along with Arceus V, both featured here as ready-to-play foil cards. You'll also find an eye-catching oversized version of Arceus V-Star for display, plus a huge stack of Pokemon TCG booster packs with even more treasures inside. And then what you get is an etched foil card featuring Arceus V-Star, remember the V-Stars are textured, a foil card featuring Arceus V, an oversized foil card featuring Arceus V-Star, 10 booster packs, an acrylic V-Star marker, and a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. 
Lovely. But if you look at the booster packs, things get a little bit interesting. Because we've got Cosmic Eclipse in there, which is a set we all love. And we've got Evolving Skies in there. Which is a set we all love. And there is actually a second Evolving Skies on the other side featuring Sylveon. Now, it does need to be borne in mind, these are stock images. And they are not guaranteed. I.e., the booster packs you see in here is not a guarantee of what you're actually going to get when you open this up. That is very, 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 very important. But it is also fair to say that they generally are correct. And that the people making these stock images have to go and put the artwork in. So, I mean, come on. I'm not saying it is. Let's be clear. It could change. But I am saying it's fairly likely. Which is good. And actually, before we finish here, I should mention this does seem to be an Amazon exclusive product. Which is kind of awesome and kind of weird. So, do be on the lookout for this. But it is Amazon only. You need to be aware of this. Now, we've also seen the official reveal of the Asuian Electrode V-Box. We knew we were getting an Asuian Electrode V-Box. We'd seen the listings. We'd also seen that the regular art of Asuian V had been removed from the set from Lost Origin. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got the regular one in here. Uh, do remember that the full art is in the set. That has already been confirmed. Actually, I bought one of them in my booster box opening of Lost Origin. And if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do so. So what we've got here is honestly a, well, a very standard product. Here's what it says. Take your opponent by surprise and execute an explosive comeback of a Suian Electrode V. This grass-type Pokemon gets more powerful when affected by special conditions, so don't be afraid to take some risks. You'll find a Suian Electrode V as a foil promo card in playable and oversized versions, along with a foil card featuring the lightning-type electrode from the Kanto region. Even more awesome Pokemon await inside a handful of booster packs. And then it's, it's a usual thing, right? Four boosters, promo, oversized promo, and like we've been seeing lately, a lovely foil card to go there as well. Now, as a side note, I actually really like this electrode. I've been playing this Electrode quite a lot lately. Uh, arguably far more than I should have been. I'll be honest with you. But I have actually been playing this in my Zoroark deck. Because it's a stage 1 Pokemon. And it hits weakness against Pokemon like Palkia. Which, which really is the big one incidentally. And for a single energy you deal 120 damage. Which means you can get a KO on Pokemon V fairly easily. Or with a choice belt, you will get a fairly easy one-hit KO on Pokemon V-Star. Like Palkia. Uh, it does do 90 to itself, so it KOs itself. So you need to find some kind of tool to make yourself bulkier, which is possible, incidentally. To try and survive, which gets kind of awkward, I admit. But I don't really care. I like it. It's actually a really fun card, which is, in a Stage 1 Zoroark deck, it is actually legitimately useful as a counter to these lightning weak decks and i like this this makes me happy this is something i like playing i'm gonna be honest with you right i'm waiting for a better lightning type pokemon for counter stuff like palkia that would make me happy but right now i like this electrode this electrode makes me very happy indeed as for suian electrode v like i say the full art was in the set proper and actually it's not a bad card. I mean, for zero energy, you deal 100 damage for each special condition affecting this Pokemon. So, we saw with the reveals the other day, we've got ourselves the Parasect, which will do, I believe, Sleep and Poison for both active Pokemon, which is really rather lovely. And then we've got Automated Arm that will let you attack even though you're asleep. And then you're potentially doing like 200 damage for zero energy. Grab yourself a curry and you're actually dealing 300 damage for zero energy. And it's a weird combo and it's super awkward. And I'm not saying it's actually always going to work. But I absolutely am saying that potentially 300. And then of course, you know, you, you've got the burn and you've got the poison and all of that. I am absolutely saying that 300 damage for zero energy plus poison or whatever other special conditions you're able to do to your opponent, 
is really very good. The, the curry card is spicy seasoned curry. It was a gym promo in Japan. We've actually had it since Astral Radiance. And you burn and heal 40. But, you know, then you've got three special conditions. 300 plus poison or whatever for zero energy. It's an interesting Pokemon, if nothing else, ladies and gentlemen. And I like the other Electrode as well. So, may maybe this is a box we get excited about. This does seem to be one of the better V-Boxes we've had, and that makes me really rather happy. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know what you think about both these products. I want you to go nuts in the comment section, and I want you to be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel... Get some bonus podcasts this week. I'm telling my full world journey. As, full as, my, as long as my voice completely heals this week, we will be talking about the whole world's experience, telling all my stories. It's very fun. I hope it's going to be anyway. And you can join a Discord and chat Pokemon with us. And we give shout outs to our supporters, like the lovely Star of Dav, who is one of our newer Patreon supporters and is a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing, as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.